All right, let's get some legal perspectives on those issues that have been raised now. And uh, Markwe? Well, thank you, Chamberlain. We have with us in the studio two gentlemen. Mr. Abdul Mohammed is a lecturer, Department of Private Law at the Faculty of Law, Uni Amadubelo University in Zaria. And we also have Mr. Obioma Ezenwobodo, who is a legal practitioner and human rights activist. He's also authored books on military law and court martial in Nigeria. You're welcome, gentlemen, to Sunrise Daily. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Huh? Now, let us make, let us, I, you listen to that report. Were you able to listen to the report which we just heard? Yeah. You heard a bit of it. But before now, I'm sure you must have heard the president's statement. Let me ask you, uh, Mr. Mohammed, do you think it has been taken out of context? Yes, I think it has been taken out of context. Uh, I think the narrative has been changed from the president maybe using words to discourage ballot snatching to the president ordering people to be shot dead. I think uh, if we take the perspective properly, the president did say that he is comfortable with his campaigns, he believes he's going to win the elections, and he thinks nobody should rig on his behalf. And he has told security agencies that they should ensure nobody does, and that if anybody does snatch ballot paper or take talks to disrupt the election, it will be at the expense of his life. That is what he said. Now, what is the expense of a person's life? For example, if you want to be a lawyer and you ever get convicted, that is the end of your life. Your life has gone. And in the course of enforcing arrest, everywhere in the world, including wherever we are even taking this from, allow the use of force in effecting arrest. Some of this force could, e could, lead to, could be lethal. Now, I've heard arguments that, oh, international conventions require that we could use lesser forces we, than we, that. We will come to the argument. Mm. I want to take Mr. Aizen um take on this, his perspective. Do you think his words have been taken out of context? I don't think Mr. President's statement has been taken out of context. I think Nigeria received the message as he said it and as he meant it. Uh, what Mr. President meant by that statement is that security forces, the police, and the army should deal decisively with anybody or group of people that try to disrupt or disturb the election processes. And if you read the context, you will see that it's, it's a kind of giving a blanket order to the security agencies. If it is possible to take away such person's life. So I do not believe that. The reason I ask um, this is because he said um, that they should deal ruthlessly. Then he says, because I don't want anybody to accuse us of rigging, of trying to rig the elections. I, I, I think that was what he, if you listen to what he said there, that was what we heard afterwards. Do you think that, I mean, perhaps that was to his party, since he was at the party caucus meeting, do you think it was to his party members, uh, you know, telling them specifically, do not try to rig for me, as he has explained. Uh, if you try to, your, maybe your thugs, you know, could be doing that at the expense of their lives. Mm, I don't think it was only to his party members because Mr. President said that he has already directed, mm -hmm. already directed the security agencies to deal ruthlessly with anybody or group of persons or leading talks to disturb the election. And he said that that will be the end of their illegal activity or whatsoever. So I don't think nobody can say that he has been taken out of context because we can't have every day after Mr. President has made a statement, some people will come up to start giving us the interpretation of his statement when the man has already made his statement. And a reasonable man will understand the import of the statement. Mm -hmm. And the import is that... If you try to snatch barrel boxes or whatever, or the security agencies should be ruthless to the extent of terminating lives of anybody they deem or they think that ha is about to snatch barrel boxes. And to me, that's undemocratic. It is unfair to Nigerians that elected uh, Mr. President. It doesn't augur well for our democracy. Let me tell you, democracy has a culture. Democracy has a culture, it has norms, and it incumbent on the president and our leaders to help us to develop it. We, 
the, the people that are being governed, we ought to be emulating from them the way they speak, their utterances, because whatever they speak or whatever they say have a lot of meaning. People can misinterpret it, uh, 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 trigger happy security agencies can use it as a, as, as a cover to perpetuate whatever crime. Uh, to me, it's an illegal I, order. I find it interesting because hmm. you just said people can misinterpret it. And hmm. I think it was, that's the part of the argument this morning as to hmm. whether or not people are already misinterpreting it. Because now we're seeing on the daily is that, you know, there is controversy over the president shoots at sight. It's been interpreted as shoots at sight. Is that what it is to you? It, that's what it is to me. Because even the army, uh, the, um, uh, the army spokesman has come out to say that they will obey the president's order to the matter. Mm -hmm. uh, what does it mean? It means that if you, if you try to do whatever the president has said by uh, snatching barrel boxes or uh, uh, participating in Togre, that they will obey Mr. President's order to the matter. What is the matter? Is, we, we are not talking about the provisions of the Constitution or the provisions of the Electoral Act with regard to people that have uh, breached the law of, uh, uh, of, of our electoral processes, but we are talking about the president's order, issuing it as if he has the locals, the standing to make it. And the army and other security agencies are saying that they will obey it. I mean, it is dangerous to our society. And we have to also tell the army... It's dangerous that the army is going to obey it? Yes. It is because uh, let, let us come to that because now we're hearing from uh, the chief of army staff mm -hmm. who is saying we're going to deal decisively because some people are also saying it's a matter of your choice of words. You have said the president said they should deal decisively. The mm -hmm. actual word the president the used ruthless. was ruthless. Yes. Um, but decisively, assuming mm -hmm. he had used decisively, do you mm -hmm. think that it would have been misinterpreted? Yeah, if he has even used uh, decisively within the context of our laws, maybe directing the security agencies to deal decisively in accordance with the law, mm -hmm. then it is okay. Okay. It is okay. Okay. Do you, uh, do you agree with him? Do you no, think I, that I those words could have been stretched, you know, I mean, could be stretched to now be interpreted to mean shoot at sight? Because some people say that the president, when he talked about deal ruthlessly, and synonyms for ruthless include mercilessly, include be stone-hearted, be, you know, have no mercy, mm -hmm. be yeah. pitiless. And, you know, even justice. Some people will say, has mercy uh, oftentimes attached to it. You see, I, I think uh, we are all, um, again, we're back to the same point that we are taking this out of context. The law enforcement agencies, they have their rules of engagement. So anybody who comes to the ballot paper should have a business at that, to the polling unit, should have a business at the polling unit. And the, polling, the business will be accreditation, voting, and otherwise. Anybody who comes with another intention is coming to break the law. In the course of breaking that law, there are procedures where a law enforcement agent intends to arrest anybody. He knows the protocol he needs to engage in. There is no risk of trigger-happy officer doing anything and thinking he will go with impunity because, oh, he heard the president say he would deal ruthlessly. Dealing ruthlessly in law enforcement means ensuring that anybody who breaks the law is brought to face the law. That's what it should mean in law. That is but what it when is. But when the president says deal ruthlessly, we have seen before now our security agencies go overboard in trying to enforce the law. And We've friend, seen people being bitten up, being mercilessly bitten up over, you know, infractions that are not usually, would not incur that kind of wrath in, in, under normal circumstances. So when the president says ruthless, be ruthless, doesn't it already in, in, show that he might be in support if they go overboard in terms of dealing with infractions like that? I, I, it, it's, it's never been the case. Uh, even when we talk about trigger-happy police officers, you find that all of the times, if they are brought to book, they face the consequences of their actions. 